Hello guys and welcome to another MK Mobile video. Today I give you a really really interesting team. One of the members in our Discord server gave me the idea and it's pretty awesome. Basically this team is the team that is the most adoptable, the most flexible team in the game. Basically every single character chooses something. In our current uh, variation, Nightwolf chooses whether to boost his and Shansung stuff the way he boosts it, right? Health, damage, whatever, power generation. Shansung chooses which enemy to become, or whether to be himself. And Jackie chooses her variation, so in a way, it's a really, really flexible team. Without any ado, we're going to start uh, the first battle. I will be showing uh, my talents during the first battle, and I'll be showing my equipment after the end of the first battle. So basically, it's going to be a lot of fun. I cannot wait to test this team. Of course, uh, we are fighting three outworders, right? We have Classic Melina, we have uh, Classic Raiden, and we have Katuman Kitana, I believe, um, who is Nether Realm. The strongest character on the team is Melina. So, basically, since I already have Shoot Break on Special 1, I'll go for Hana on my Night Wolf. Uh, he doesn't really deal a lot of damage because, unfortunately, he's Fusion 4, while she's Fusion 6. Now I'm going to Special 1. And now I will tag to... Alright, I will tag to... Kitana. Alright, I'm going to do this. Killing her in the process. I don't need to heal at this point. Like, and I'm facing the enemy Kitana. All right. Okay. All right. She goes down. Then I'm going to attack to Jackie. And then Jackie will become sub zero because I want to make sure this guy goes down, and I want to make sure. Uh, yeah, basically, it doesn't matter at this point <laughs> because he's very weak, uh, very weak anyways. I forgot to show you my talents, but I'm going to do that now. Also, be showing my equipment. Uh, there isn't. Really a huge secret in the equipment of these characters. I just gave them some equipment because the point of this video is not to showcase a specific combination of um, items. The point of this video is to showcase this team, which in my opinion is very, very fun to play. Uh, this is my equipment. Uh, this is, sorry, <laughs> these are my talents. Uh, and uh, let me show you my equipment. These, the talents basically are based on special 2 usage. This is the equipment I gave to Nightwolf. He has a general father gun so that he can uh, uh, he can do you know the thing uh, shoot break on special one. Uh, this is the equipment I gave to Shan Tsung, and this is the equipment I gave to Jackie. Jackie has pretty cool equipment by the way, three blue tower pieces. Speaking of that, guys, there's so many good blue tower pieces that I'm not really convinced that you have to go and max out the epic ones. It is true that there are certain epic pieces that are broken, but I reckon that pieces such as the Viper Hood. Are better than let's say 30% of the epic pieces. Pieces like the Dark Manta are better than 40% of the uh, epic pieces. So, uh, if you want to invest some money in this game, uh, what I would advise to do is wait. All right, I'm going to be the combo now, and I will adopt uh, Reptile because I want to poison this girl. All right, that's cool. I just turned. Oh my God! Look at the Silver Reptile absolutely destroying this Sonya. Uh, all right. <laughs> all right. So I will be Reptile. I will have a lot of poison in this uh, fight. Oh, actually, she doesn't have poison, right? She doesn't. Does she have poison combo in when she's reptile? I absolutely forgot. It seems that she doesn't. Alright. It doesn't matter, though. Oh, she has! She has, you see? I still remember, guys. I still remember. Bam. Alright. Okay. Why do I block against such a weak enemy? You know what? I'm going to become Shang Tsung. Uh, and then I'm going to... Uh, one of the things that I hate about Shan Tsung is this thing. Uh, once you tag in and you decide uh, which uh, form to adopt, even if you press on the special to immediately, sometimes the enemy is just faster and you cannot do anything. So that's really, really annoying. Yeah, they have to make sure that this doesn't happen. Because that's the point of Shan Tsung, right? So why uh, they take the best of him and turn it against him, right? You want to take a form and while you're choosing, you choose a form, you die because the enemy hits you first and stuff. It's really, really annoying. Uh, so, yeah. What I was saying, by the way, I forgot what I was saying. By the way, stay until the end of the video because I'm going to show you a really interesting tip for those of you who have Classic Rain. I didn't want to do a special video about it because probably a lot of people will say you're doing only Classic Rain videos. So, no, I won't be doing only Classic Rain videos. But in this video, somewhere in the end, I'm going to show you a quick tip. I believe it's a very, very important thing. I didn't know it by today. I learned it today, guys. So, it's really, really good. Uh, I will be uh, Hama again. Hama. All right, Hama. No, I will be uh, Tanya. No reason. <laughs> just, yeah, oh, I just want to generate power. This is the reason. Alright, special two. 
Okay. Uh, can I do better on the minigame if possible? Oh, it doesn't matter anyways. And now I want to be uh, rain. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. I don't want to be rain anymore. I want to be uh, Shansung. Yeah, finally. This time I could do special two immediately. I really love Shansung special two. And every time when I play Shansung, it's like I always want to play with him, right? Unless I am running him for X-ray, then I can choose the enemy uh, X-ray and stuff. Even though I heard that this is now nerfed, you cannot do that anymore. Please let me know in the comments whether this is the case. And this leads me to the tip for classic rain. You're currently seeing on the screen that you can actually do special one immediately after his special two. So you do special two. In order to do this, of course, you either need to have three bars of power or to have item that reduces the power cost of special two. So you do special two and immediately at the moment when the enemy lands on the ground, then you have to do special one so that if you hit the enemy, the special one will connect. And from this point on, you can start chaining uh, your special one. So in a way, this will save you a lot of troubles against bosses. The sandstorm modifier is not a big deal. You just do special one, you snare the boss. If you're lucky and if you have the, um, the cloak frame, you're going to team soak and then you can start your special one you don't have to worry that you don't have block breaker you just do special one the moment when the enemy lands on the ground and thus you can guarantee you're going to start chaining the special abilities so without any further ado let's start to battle uh, let's go to battle number four and we keep on facing not really strong teams but that's fine because we're just having fun with this team once again i don't have strategy when it comes to items i'm just building this team so that i can have fun and choosing multiple stuff you know uh, so far I wanted to explore a better Cassie, no, so, sorry, Jackie, and I want to do that by facing Nether Realm team because she has one form which is pretty good against Nether Realm. All right, so I'll be using uh, Kuba, and I'll do this, and he's Nether Realm, right? So I think, um, yeah, Tremor, thirty percent little. Oh, look at the damage! Absolutely mind blowing stuff. Bam! Thirty percent little chance is huge. Unfortunately, John is not, uh, you know, the guy. Special 2 immediately. You see, I couldn't do it. I, I tried. I was pressing, like, immediately when I uh, selected Shansung, I was pressing the key for Special 2, but it didn't work. Johnny hit me first. That's really annoying. It is the same like uh, it was with the Terminator. Remember, the Terminator will tag in, and then the enemy will have the edge. The enemy will have the initiative. It makes zero sense. You choose when to tag in, so you should have the initiative. Anyways, so... Another easy W, guys. I wonder who is going to be the next team that we'll be facing. And the next team will be... The next team will be... Dimitri, our good friend Dimitri, who has Fusion Knight and Black at level 40. Why is it level 40, my friend? You have to be playing this guy a lot. He's really, really awesome. Very good basic attacks, a deadly special 2. Really useful special 1, to be honest. Sometimes special 2 will be overkill. Just do special 1 to kill almost anybody. Anyways, let's focus on the battle. I hope it's going to be easy and enjoyable like the rest of the battles so far. And um, Nightwolf, what should I pick? Alright, I'm going to play a little bit more Nightwolf, so I will uh, do the Kiba thing, so I can get more damage. Alright, this is Fusion 4, uh, Reptile is Fusion 4, so it's an equal matchup. Okay, this is the bad combo ender. Now, this is the good combo ender, I can follow special one. See? He's not going to block. Let's go! Ooh, the damage was pretty respectable. Oh, the shield break was pretty good. Uh, I want to become Reptile, so I can finish him like this, and then I can finish this guy like this. Yes, unblockable special 2. Actually, Shansung also had unblockable special 2, so really didn't matter. Oh, of course, he's going to... Okay, I wanna just... Can you hit him once, like th this? Yes, thank you! Uh, yeah, you have to spill some poison on him. <laughs> no reverence, please. Thank you, thank you very much, game. So, easy W, guys. <laughs> easy W. Unfortunately, my Shansung and my Nightwolf are not maxed out. And since Cass is uh, Fusion 10, I cannot really get... Uh, really good opponents. I'm getting some trash teams, uh, Fusion 5, Fusion 6, gold characters. In a lot of cases, I'm going to just one-shot them, which is unfortunate. All right, battle number six is against an enemy cast, uh, Jackie, I'm sorry. Uh, so I will be picking uh, Como, and then I'll be playing, uh, I'll be playing uh, Scorpion. And then we'll do this. Oh, I lagged and messed up the mini game. It's okay though. I'm going to do another special one. Okay. 
So he's an Elder God. I don't have anything specific for Elder God, but I'll be Sub-Zero. If you don't have anything specific, Sub-Zero is also a good option. Uh, look at his special one. It deals so much damage. The, the mini game is so easy and it has one of the best debuffs in the game. Um, it sucks when he resists it though. It's okay, he goes down. Okay, I'm going to do this. Oh, of course, of course! How on earth he blocked this? I'm going to do another one. This time he's not going to block it. BAM! Shansung in the house. Uh, become Shansung. Yes! This time I was first. This time I was first. <laughs> oh my god, you need to have really, really fast fingers in order to do this. Otherwise, the enemy is going to just wreck you. Okay. Kill him! Troll snowball. You see, these snowballs should be the deadliest snowballs on the planet. Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> That's really embarrassing if somebody kills you with a snowball. You really, really? Yeah, Shansung agrees, by the way. Alright! We are one victory away uh, from the impossible. Destroying Fatal Tower in quick mode. <laughs> oh my god. And once upon a time in this game, guys, this was the only, the only game mode that mattered. Trust me, there was nothing else. Just Faction Wars, quick mode. There were no towers. There were no survival mode. Only quick mode. So you're just grinding victories there. That was the game. And quite honestly, it was very enjoyable. It was very enjoyable. Uh, after the latest update, the game is going in a pretty good direction, so I hope it keeps it. I really hope that this year we're going to have a huge update. Once again, this year marks the 30th anniversary of Mortal Kombat, guys. So that's huge. Uh, Alright. Okay, I'm going to be Ermac. You know, I'm going to Ermac now. And I'm going to be Ermac uh, after I summon uh, Jackie. So two Ermacs. I'll be fighting with Ermacs all day long. <laughs> so this Ermac uh, says bye-bye. Yeah, he did. He's not dead, I'm going to show him the real Ermac. You see, I'm the real Ermac now. The other guy was the fake Ermac. He doesn't really do a lot of damage on, on ex this dead explosion. I expected him to do more. Alright. Special 2. I love, by the way, uh, Jackie's Ermac special 2. It's so cool. I mean, it has vampirism. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do this and this. Yes! I was first. I was first. Alright guys, so this was the video. This term, 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 team <laughs> is a lot of fun to play, I'm not going to lie. Uh, and uh, yeah, basically, I mean, we are facing really, really weak opponents, so it doesn't matter what you choose. But in certain situations, this team can be really, really flexible and give you the W if you require something specific to pass specific stage in battle, uh, modes or, or towers or challenges and so on. Alright guys, so this is going to be all for you today. Take care, guys. Perfect. Perfect.